Good morning, guys. Today, um, got a day off of work. About to go work on the E36. Uh, well, I really work on it. Just trying to get a few things to make sure that it runs healthy. It needs some AC coolant. Uh, it needs some just washer fluids to get the light off the dash. It just needs a little bit of things that you know. I don't want. I'm, I'm a big picky person when it comes to interior, and that's something I want to get done. Um, so what I have ordered for the front, let me show you guys what I've ordered. So you guys look at it. I don't know if you know a lot about E36s. Maybe some of you guys are thinking about getting them. Uh, the crash bar is really, really easy to uninstall. But as you can tell on this side, it has a dip because of the frame here. This is the only part that's bent that's a concern for me. Other than that, you know, it's no big deal. You see how the frame here is perfect. I'm going to have to replace the side panel because it's dented and the hood can't close as good. But yeah, this, um... So this whole crash bar is connected to where the, and again, this is the frame in there. This is connected to the bumper support, and then the bumper connects to that. Um, there's supposed to be an AC uh, conductor or whatever, something, I don't, I don't, don't, bleh, don't even listen to me, I don't even know what I'm saying. There's supposed to be something to do with an AC here, and then the AC fan, but that's all missing. All the way, wiring is there, and a couple pipes are cut right there. I don't know why, like whoever was on this before me, they couldn't just leave it. They had to cut it. Like if you guys look at it, why do you have to cut it? Even over here the wires for like headlights and stuff, they have to cut it. So I'm going to have to do some wiring, which is kind of a pain, you know? They couldn't just keep it how it is. But this side, uh, lights, everything are right there. Everything's fine. So headlight on this side should be easy, but this is all got to go. The latches is kind of hard to close the hood. That's why I don't close it because the frame's all bent up and everything. Um, but again, guys. This is all like cosmetic damage. It didn't go anything past the radiator, so. You know, it was a, it's a pretty good deal either way. And let me know down in the comments what that means exactly. So this has a clean title. He didn't report the accident. You think once I fix it all up and take it down to Smogget, they're gonna, if they see a dent on the frame, they're gonna, you know, put a salvage title on it. I don't know how you get a salvage title. I mean, I know how you get a salvage title, but do you think after repair, it, it, it will get a salvage title if they see the frame? Um, because it's obviously it's not going to be perfectly straight, I'm going to hammer it or whatever. Um, just let me know that in the comments, I'm not sure about this kind of stuff. I was, I'm hoping it'll stay clean title. Uh, it does not have a salvage as of now, so uh, let me know about that. Alright guys, so I'm going to go take my other BMW, my main one, my beauty. Leave uh, this guy over here, my god, it's stick. I have a stick shit, guys. I never thought I'd ever drop a stick, but whatever. Um, we're going to go down to Walmart and just get some washer fluids. Uh, I was going to go to AutoZone, but it's the exact same washer fluid for an extra $3. So why pay the extra $3? And then uh, probably just pick up some tools, hammers, whatever, to uh, work on the frame today. And um, that will be today's project, hopefully. Just trying to get that frame straightened out as much as possible. Alright guys, I'm probably going to cut off the part that's underneath the frame. Let me show you guys what it is when I get home. But uh, right now I'm looking for a radio for the car. I know it's not something that's like really, really important, but it's something I really, really want. So we're just gonna pick up a really cheap radio. It already has a radio uh, cable. I just have to get the conversion cable, which I already ordered. So I'm just gonna be looking for the radio right now. Other than the radio, I'm looking also for washer fluids and a hammer. So we'll see if we can pick all that up. Uh, I just picked up the hammer. It's like seven bucks. I don't even know if that's even worth it, but whatever. Um, now I'm just gonna be looking for a radio real quick. I know I don't need it again, but I want it. So I'm gonna see if we can just pick up just the cheapest one possible and see if just the radio. Ooh, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for a radio. Man, I'm really getting cheap right now today. Today I'm feeling really cheap. But damn, twenty bucks for this. It has auxiliary and it also has USB. That's not bad. Alright, guys, I have to wash foods over here. Bug remover. I think we're gonna go with that. Lug remover, washer fluids. Let's not go like the cheapest route. I mean, it's already pretty cheap enough. Alright, guys, so we just got back from Walmart. Uh, I ended up getting some washer fluids. 
Uh, I really, really like 2.5 pound hammer, whatever that thing's called, and then a radio. I don't know if I'm able to test fit the radio today, but you know, when I get all the cables for it, which I ordered, um, we'll be able to test fit it and check it out. It has already aux and USB. I don't know if it really matters, uh, like if the sound's really gonna make a difference with the actual device rather than the amplifiers. So if it is a piece of garbage, take it back to Walmart. You know, it is like a 100-day warranty, pretty much how it is at Walmart. It doesn't really matter. You can return whenever. Um, and then I'll probably just pick up another kind. All right, guys, here's a washer fluid tanky McBobber. I'm hoping there's no place that it's leaking from. Uh, maybe that's why it be drained at all. Um, it has a little water, you know, sensor thing right here. So I'm hoping, you know, once I fill it all up, it should just be fine. Uh, I guess we'll just see. Alright guys, we're going to go inside the car and show you guys what I'm getting on the dash. Again, I don't know if this is a leak. I don't know what to expect with this car. I just want to know what I need to order and what I don't need to order. Washer fluids is the least of my worries. But I mean, it's something I want to get fixed. I don't want my drift car being a janky looking drift car. I want it to look like a daily pretty much and maybe even a show car while still being a drift car. Because you know, you guys know the saying, drift cars are show cars. So, let's start on this baby. Show you guys that it, it's really, it sounds really good. Like it sounds really good when you turn it on and it always works the first time. This car is a very, very solid tranny and uh, engine. This is why I got it. Um, so let me just give you guys a look. So this is pretty much the interior from my perspective. It's obviously missing the radio. It comes with the the cable for the, I don't know, the antenna or something. But it doesn't come with the conversion for the actual radio power supply. So I ordered that. Um, dude, something I love about manuals is just keep going like this. Like it just keep moving. Like you just shake it. It just looks so cool whenever you shake this thing. Besides this thing keeps coming out, it's a piece of garbage. I'm hoping this thing isn't stripped or anything or messed up, it's just this. Sorry guys, my hand is shaking way too much. <sighs> it's because I'm fasting, you know? When you're not eating, always hungry. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna turn on the car real quick. This check control, and I go down here. It says washer fluids. So um, let's just go ahead and put in some washer fluids. So I don't know how much this is, how much this needs, but it doesn't take a brainiac to find out. So I'm just gonna fill it up. <laughs> All right, I got my funnel. I don't know how this is gonna work. You can't even stick it through. But uh, I guess we'll just put it like that, and then uh, let me let me try to bring you guys out a little bit. I just put the key in the car. Um, I don't want to turn it on. Should I turn it on? Man, this car is pretty loud in the garage. Alright, let's turn it on. Alright, cool. So the light on the dash already went away. Check control went away. If I put down the e-brake, that went away. The reason for the airbag light is because this passenger seat is gray and this is like, it's a whole other seat and it has a broken uh, clip. See on this side it's all perfectly fine. This side is messed up. But yeah, other than that, we have a healthy looking dash. So uh, again, this is all pretty much cosmetics to do with the car. Also this thing, it's really starting to irritate me. I'm not just glue it on. It looks a whole lot better when this thing's on it. It doesn't look as janky. So I'm gonna do that as well. So today it's just pretty much gonna be like, you know, working on cosmetic things with the car and taking off some parts off the car. All right guys, I'm too excited for the radio. I have to open it up just to see how it looks like. I'm just too excited. I mean, I never had an aftermarket radio, so let's take a look at it. People always tell me Japanese cars are better than BMWs, but what I always say, what's better than one BMW? Two BMWs. You can't, you can't beat two BMWs. So when you have one, this is, this is a good, uh, for you haters, when one breaks down, you have another one to drive. You know, there you go. And you work on the other one. If you love the car enough, 
you'll take care of it. And that's the thing, what I hate about the haters of BMW. Why do you keep watching my videos? <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. You guys, like, uh, the haters just keep coming back. They're like, why? Why are you doing all this to your car? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? It's like, why are you on my channel? This is for people who have a BMW who wants to do some cool things. You know, so I don't, I don't know what to tell you. All right, let's unbox this radio real quick. All right, guys. So, let's go on with this. This is one, honestly, I don't know why I'm so excited for this. It's only $20, but, you know, it's having your, your own radio in your car. It just, it just sounds awesome. Oh, it's actually a very, very, very small radio. No, it's a fairly nice radio. It has a USB to charge your phone. It has auxiliary. You know, and it has a regular setup, but it, it looks pretty fancy, you know? It's pretty nice, pretty nice. So, um, I'm just going to slap this in the car so when the cables come, you know, we can just hook it all up. First off, I know it's unnecessary to uh, use one of these just to get a screw out of the radio. I know it's unnecessary, but do you know how fun these are? I'm, I'm just, I love using this drill. <sighs> Harbor Freight. Just even the smell. Oh! Car insanity. All right, let me get the screw out of the damn thing. As I put the washer fluids in the car, but I realized that I didn't even test it. So let's hope to God I'm trying this for the first time that it works. Oh my goodness, I don't see any water coming out. Shit, I hear something leaking. You can clearly see it's leaking right there. Um, oh my god. Yes, yeah, so looking in here, I can see that this is where it all leaked, and I found that these are the cables. So I'm gonna blow it one more time and see if it only comes from these two. And if it does, it's perfect, and it's not to find where I need to put them. So, um, yeah, I just literally went all over my wiring and my harnesses and everything. Um, hopefully, it didn't ruin any of the wires. I'm gonna take all the wires out. Uh, yeah, that's not good. You got all over there. That's not good at all. Let's hope that I didn't I didn't do too much damage right there. I can I can see the frame trying to come together, but this thing, this metal piece, is even stronger, keeping it down. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take off this frame right here, the whole radiator support, and uh, work on straightening this up for you guys. All right, guys. So we just have a couple of screws you need to remove here. I don't know what what they're connected to, but I'm gonna remove them anyway. And uh, oh, that's not even connected to anything. I don't think so. Oh, that's gonna be some kind of tab that. Then it gets sorted out or whatever. We'll deal with that later. What is this thing connected to? Yeah. Right, we're gonna try a T um, a T27 to see if it'll get these screws out. Where is it? Uh, let's go a little bit bigger. We don't want to strip the screws, so oh, okay, yeah, this is perfect size. So we want to go with the T30 to remove the rest of these bolts right here. Um Oh, it's actually supposed to have like four screws for this thing. Yeah, this thing needs to be replaced. It's a goner. So we're gonna take off the hood latch right now. And we have a few more uh, headlight supports, screws. I'm hoping this is the right screw set. Uh, this drill won't actually get this out. Oh, there we go. All right, that's beautiful. So I like to see. Alrighty. 
Yeah. I want to get me in the picture because I'm really important, you know. This is my YouTube channel, not the cars. Eh. Eh. And untighten it. I don't want to mess it up, so uh, let's get in there again. Put that in there. I don't think you guys can even see me, can you? There we go. Alright guys, so we're going to do some janky thing for this one. Um, I don't know why it's not coming out. We're going to try to get all the other screws out and uh, let's not worry too much about it. It's not coming out. Um, I'll figure out another way to get it out. But uh, let's, not, let's not start tripping too much about that. Even though it's really stressing me out because, you know, when strip screws are stripped, you know, ah, too much work. I'm honestly, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm sweating. It is way, way too hot outside right now. Alright guys, so um, just a couple extra things. Got to get undone. Just some clips. I'm just going to take some regular, uh, you know, flathead, pop open those clips. They're just the wires are attached to it. You don't want to yank out the wires, so just take off the wires, and this thing should just dangle down like that. Okay guys, there we go. You see that just came off. We still have that side screw I'm trying to loosen up right here. Oh, we got another screw right there. I'm gonna try to sit this back. All right guys, for now the support, I'm just gonna try to bend it and get it out so I can work on that screw. Just gonna bend it up and down until it snaps. All right, guys. After some tugging, I uh, hit the hammer from underneath this. So I basically used this, went from underneath, and just tapped it for the screw to get a little loosened. It came out, so that's good. Screw is still good. I'm gonna reuse that, and uh, let's take off the whole crash bar and see if it comes off. Yep, that just comes off just like that. So this is the whole part I ordered for only like I don't know if I'm gonna reuse these clips. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to reuse these clips, so I'm going to take them off real quick. I'm also going to be removing the hood latch uh, cables because I'm pretty sure they are broken. Like, I don't think there's anything really... Those things are gone. Because um, they, they should have released the, ha the, the hood easily if they were fine. Yeah, guys, so I think I'm just going to end up cutting this off. I don't really need this. Uh, it is going to look a little bit uglier from the wheel well, but if I lower the car and have the side fender, you really shouldn't notice it. So, this is going to end up being cut. The, the dent is just too bad. Even if I fold it out, it's gonna snap, and I don't want it to ruin any of my internal wires. All right, guys, so I just I found out a few more things. Before I conclude this video, I wanted to fix a few more things. So I didn't know where the windshield wipers were. It was leaking, and you know, it was spraying randomly. I heard the sprays, it was working, but I don't know why it was spraying like underneath the car. So the wires underneath the car, um, they were supposed to connect to these hood things right here. So, I didn't know because I don't, I never owned a 96. The water comes out of the, the hood, basically. So, when I open up the hood, see these cables right here, connected? These were not connected, I just connected them. So, you can literally unplug it. So, you see that? That was the cable which is dangling down, and it was, oh shoot, I don't want to leak it everywhere. So, I just plugged it right back in. So yeah guys, you just clip it in both sides and it should just be, you know, on point. If it ever falls out or you think it's not spraying, you can always unplug it. You can always replace these heads. It's really easy. If you have an E36, it's a really easy fix for, you know, something like that. I did uh, buff this up just a little bit more. Um, I don't want to keep hammering it in the corner because this needs to be fixed right here. And this is in the way for me hammering it, so I'm going to cut all this off. I don't really need it. Uh, that's just like one screw for the headlight. It's going to have another screw with, when you come with the grills, you know, the grill assembly. And then you have the three skills from the radiator assembly. So uh, I'm going to put this down. There's one more thing that's been bugging me a lot before I end this video. And uh, yeah, guys, as BMW owners, you're not like a Miata owner. You can strip and gut the entire team. I mean, some BMW owners strip and gut the interior of their cars. But like for me, interior is a big deal. Now, this car doesn't have the most beautiful interior, but for a 96, it has power windows, cruise control. You know, for a 96, you wouldn't think it has all these features. You wouldn't think at all. But yeah, it does. 
She got me saying, Yalla, Habibi. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, Habibi. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy.